हेलो इलेवन क्लास स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द किंगडम प्रोटेस्टा वी हैव सीन अबाउट द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर्स ऑफ द प्रोटेस्टा इन द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द आइडियल प्रोटेस्टन सेल टुडे वी विल सी हाउ द प्रोसेस ऑफ लोकोमोशन टेक्स प्लेस इन द मेंबर ऑफ द किंगडम प्रोटेस्टा सो स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स स्टार्ट द लोकोमोशन इन प्रोटेस्ट स्टूडेंट्स देर आर डिफरेंट वेज ऑफ द लोकोमोशन इन द प्रोटेस्टा दे पर्सेज सम ऑर्गन्स इन ऑर्डर टू मूव फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनादर प्लेस इन द प्रीवियस किंगडम दैट इज किंगडम मोनेरा वी हैव सीन दैट दैट मेंबर ऑफ द किंगडम मोनेरा डू नॉट हैव एनी काइंड ऑफ द लोकोमोटरी ऑर्गन्स बट हियर इन द किंगडम प्रोटेस्टा the members have some locomotory organs let's see which are the main locomotory organs present in them and how they utilize them in different ways so the very first type of the locomotion found in protista is by cilia first is by cilia second organ is by a uh, second type of locomotion is by flagella and third type of the locomotion is by pseudopodia now students let's understand them one by one that how the locomotion is takes place by cilia flagella and by the pseudopodia first of all we see the what is the meaning of cilia and how they are present on the body of the protists students the cilia are small hair like structures that can be present on the surface of the body of the protista just like this they are present very dense they may be dense or they may may be apart from each other but whole the body of the protista is covered by this hair like structures and this hair like structures are known as cilia these cilia are responsible for the slow motion of the protistan cell uh, these cilia perform two way of the movement by which the protistan cell moves let's see which type of the movements are they the very first movement shown by the cilia is power stroke and second is a recovery stroke <coughs> first is power stroke and second is recovery stroke in power stroke students the cilia moves very fast due course of which the body of the protistan moves in the second in the recovery stroke the cilia suddenly change their position slowly when they changes their position slowly and then sudden stroke is shown by the cilia in that type of the movement is known as a recovery stroke second is students flagella movement by flagella Let's see first of all what is the position of the flagella and how it looks like then we will see how it shows the movement flagella is actually a plural word it's a singular is flagellum singular is flagellum so if we see its position on the cell then we found that the flagella is present if this is the protistan cell then 
flagella is somehow present in the form of the long hair like structure like this this portion or this hair like portion is called flagellum or in plural it is called flagella this flagella students when moves rapidly just like you have seen the fins of the fish when the fish wish to move the fish give the jerk to its fin and its body moves in forward direction in the same way the movement in the flagellum takes place and the cell moves in the forward direction third type of the movement is shown by pseudopodia now let's see what is the meaning of pseudopodia and how it helps in the locomotion actually students pseudo the word pseudo means false the verbal meaning of pseudo is false and podia that means fit they are actually the fit like structures or we can say that they are the false fit which helps the protista to move let's see their position and uh, on the basis of their positions they show four types of the locomotion or we can say four type of the pseudopodia are present in the body of the protists let's see them one by one the first is lobopodia lobopodia second is philopodia third is reticulopodia and fourth the last one is exopodia let's understand them one by one that how their positions vary from different stages in the first students in lobopodia the pseudopodia are somehow rounded and blunt at the end they are not sharp and pointed just like the pseudopodia found in amoeba so example of lobopodia is amoeba and they are round at the end and blunt and they are not very sharp second type of the uh, that is in philopodia the pseudopodia are cylindrical in nature they are also not very blunt and pointed and this type of philopodia are found in the organism like euglypha unicellular organisms euglypha now students the third type or the reticulopodia this reticulopodia are branched structure or branch pseudopodia just like this uh, one single pseudopodia and then again there rises some branches in this this type of reticulopodia are mainly found in elfidium like organisms elfidium and the last one is exopodia this exopodia are very hard filamentous and they are also conical in shape these are very hard and provide the resultive locomotion in the protist and mainly found in actinophrix
एक्टिनो फ्रिक्स सो स्टूडेंट्स दीज आर दी मेजर लोकोमोटरी ऑर्गन्स फाउंड इन दी प्रोटिस्टा नाउ इफ द लोकोमोटरी ऑर्गन्स आर प्रेजेंट विच रिजल्ट इन द लोकोमोशन ऑफ द ऑर्गेनिजम देन वाट एक्चुअली द नीड ऑफ लोकोमोशन वाई द ऑर्गेनिजम्स नीड्स टू नीड्स टू मूव फ्रॉम प्लेस टू प्लेस सो लेट सी द नीड ऑफ लोकोमोशन इन द ऑर्गेनिजम्स और इन प्रोटेस्टा देर आर सेवरल नीड ऑफ द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स विच मेक्स दैम टू मूव फ्रॉम प्लेस टू प्लेस नीड ऑफ लोकोमोशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल स्टूडेंट्स द वेरी फर्स्ट नीड दैट इंक्लूडिंग फॉर विच इंक्लूडिंग द ह्यूमन बींग मूव्स दैट इज द इन सर्च ऑफ द फूड बिकॉज इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल फॉर द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स टू ऑप्टेन देयर फूड वाइल रिमेनिंग एट अ प्लेस इन कॉन्स्टेंट पोजिशन सो इन ऑर्डर टू need uh, in order to get the food the organisms need to move from place to place so first thing is for searching or obtaining the food second thing why the living organism move is in order to get protected from the enemy whenever a living organisms live at a single place then it may be identified by the predators so second thing is in order to protect get protected they move from one place to another place for example if you take the example of the human being then uh, the third kind third reason for their locomotion is that we locomote from our house to our working places or in order to search the food and then again in the evening we move at our home so we make the home for our safety security so third thing is for making home they move for making home and fourth reason to find the place for breeding they need the safe place where they can give birth to their progeny in order to and they should get favorable condition there they get the proper amount of the food and positive or beneficiary condition should be there so they moves in order to search the place for the breeding so students these are the major reasons why the living organisms or the protists move from place to place or reasons for showing the locomotion now students we have to see the mode of nutrition in protista so our next topic is mode of nutrition mode of nutrition that means the way by which they obtain the food so students the different mode of nutritions are found in the protista for example the protista uh, mode of so they show different modes of nutrition modes of nutrition in protest so the very first mode that uh, many protists like dinoflagellates diatoms etc they possess the chlorophyll 
and students you know that the living organisms that possess the chlorophyll shows autotrophic mode of nutrition so the very first mode is autotrophic mode in which the dinoflagellates diatoms etc mix their own food with the help of the photosynthesis second mode of nutrition is holozoic mode of nutrition in holozoic mode just like the living organisms uh, amoeba etc they possess the holozoic mode of type of nutrition this mode of type and uh, this mode of nutrition is not autotrophic but it is purely heterotrophic mode of nutrition in which they engulf whole the food inside their body third type of the nutrition is saprotrophic or we can say that saprophytic mode of nutrition or saprobic in saprobic mode of nutrition students the protista or the living organism secrete secretes the digestive juice or we can say digestive enzyme outside their body which turns the complex substances into simpler one like monosaccharides amino acids etc and in turn the simple substances only get absorbed inside the body of the living organisms and not hold the food taken inside the body just like the holozoic actually saprobic and holozoic mode of nutrition are just opposite to each other in holozoic mode of nutrition the nutrition just like we who intake whole the food grains or food particles inside the body and then digest it but in saprobic mode of nutrition the living organism secrete the digestive juice outside their body who converts the complex substances into simpler substances and then only the simpler substances get absorbed inside the body just like this suppose this one is the protista or unicellular organisms which is residing on the surface of the a food grain suppose this is the surface of the food particle then it will secrete some digestive juices here who will convert this surface and digest it outside the body and now students only this digested material which we are digested outside the body will get absorbed inside the cell and not whole the food particles so here only this digested food particles which came 100% utilized by the cell for its activities get absorbed inside the body and no residue will uh, remains left from the digested food inside the cell of the living organisms so this type of the digestion or mode of nutrition is known as saprobic mode of nutrition fourth type of the nutrition is parasitic mode of nutrition we have seen about this parasitic mode of nutrition in which the protista depends on the other living organisms which take food from their host and in turn harm them we have discussed the parasitic mode of nutrition in very well manner the last one is mesotrophic mode of nutrition the fifth one is mesotrophic mode mesotrophic mode students is actually the combination of two mode of nutrition this is the combination of the first one that is autotrophic mode of nutrition or we can say halophytic mode of nutrition 
and second is the saprotrophic mode of nutrition in which the living organisms get their food from the dead and decaying living organisms body so the mesotrophic mode of nutrition is combination of autotrophic just like euglena autotrophic plus saprotrophic it is the combination of two mode of nutrition so students this is all about the mode of nutrition found in the protista